In her single most important act of patronage in the 1940s, Queen Elizabeth, who later became known as the Queen Mother, commissioned a series of watercolour views of Windsor Castle from John Piper during the Second World War. The result was a virtuoso performance of topographical draftsmanship. The dark storm clouds in these watercolours are a dramatic backdrop to the grey stone of the castle, and they give a powerful presence of the sense of threat from the skies during wartime. Due to the bombing and the Blitz in London, Piper was invited to paint these views of Windsor Castle in late 1940. Piper spent many months drawing and painting views and sketches he had made, and when he presented the works they were not met with favour. The first set of works I have shown so far have marvellous observation to them, but they are muted under grey and gloomy skies. The Queen extended the commission, but asked Piper to paint some springtime views. Clark wrote to the Queen, I have told Piper he must paint a spring day and conquer his passion for putting grey architecture against black skies. But it sounds like John Piper ignored the advice, or thought it might ruin the series of works if it suddenly became bright. When the second commission was complete, his star had not changed, and the sky was still dark. When the Queen reviewed the works, she made appreciative comments, but King George VI looked at them in silence for some time before remarking, You seem to have had very bad luck with your weather, Mr Piper. Here is a painting of the Royal Adelaide Hotel. It is not part of the commission, but it is likely where John Piper stayed at the time. And here is a picture of the building today. We can end with another picture of Windsor Castle. It's an automatic print. It was part of the Penguin Print series, a scheme that ran from 1948 to 1952 when the lack of public demand killed it off, although they were rather dubious in the quality of lithography. Penguin had asked Kenneth Clark to choose a series of famous paintings, and Piper was the third in the series. Piper never really shook off the King's comments, and they followed him around for the rest of his life, as many of his works used dark skies to make buildings stand out. Here is a painting by Osbert Lancaster of John Piper Painting. It's entitled, Mr Piper Enjoying His Usual Luck with the Weather. <laughs>